far as the Bruins, it's still not a shot for the Kings for this power play. The Bruins are on a 16 road trip. This is the fourth. Now we're going to get a scrap here. Boynton and LaPerriere. They've been having words yeah. moments ago. Yeah, you're right, Bob. At the end of the last shift, both guys were talking before the shift ended. A lot of jockeying back and forth. LaPerriere has already dropped one of his elbow pads, so Boynton doesn't get a chance to hold on. Boynton's a big fellow, though. He's pretty strong. He comes in at just over 210 pounds, so a lot on the hands for Ian LaPerriere. You can see both guys trying to get that one hand free. And now the line's been getting to break it up, so both guys very game. Both guys were throwing, both guys were taking. You see Lappy right there, he's checking the nose, right above his nose, forehead, he has a cut. Nick Boynton doesn't look like he's cut. Ian did have a previous cut there, but it looks like he's got a little egg right there now, so he must have gotten hit by a solid punch of Nick Boynton. Both guys very game, you don't want to back off. That's the intensity you need. Both LaPerriere and Boynton, five minutes each for fighting. Well, let's take a look at the Pepsi upcoming home. 3 0 Kings. At the end of the last play, you'll see nine teams come together. Avery and Thornton. Thornton throws the first punch. Both guys come together. Watch Jeff Gilson come in. Number 23 drops his gloves. That could be instigator. It could be third man. Could be a whole bunch of things. Can you believe this? It looks like the Kings are going to go on the power play again. Thornton gets cross checking and roughing. Gilson gets a game misconduct as the third man in an altercation. Sean Avery of the Kings only gets the minor for roughing. So once again, the Kings have a chance on the power play. You could see that play start with the frustration of Joe Thornton, and you can't blame him for that. Sean Avery's never going to back off from that type of situation. But I don't know if you've ever seen a more clear-cut example of a third man with Jeff Gilson coming in. And you can see how that can be dangerous. That's why you have that rule, because Avery was unaware of where Gilson was coming from. He'd already dropped his gloves. The Kings go back on the power play. Hold it.